trim the base of the model parallel to the occlusal table plane on a model trimmer to within a few millimeters of the gingival margin for ease of manipulation. Note that the palate and tongue areas are removed to allow for more precise adaptation of the heated tray material to the model. Allowing the model to dry before reservoir placement will permit the blockout to adhere securely when light cured. For a smooth reservoir, keep the tip of the syringe in contact with the cast while spreading the material over the surface. Lift off the tip of the syringe at the corner of the tooth, moving the tip towards the lingual so you avoid peaks at the incisal edge. Stay about one and a half millimeters from the gingival line. Do not extend onto the incisal edges or the occlusal surfaces. This prevents the margins of the tray from opening upon biting and or impinging on soft tissue. Cure LC blockout for approximately 10 to 20 seconds with a quality curing light. Note a one or two second cure on a less than ideal reservoir will allow you to peel off the material and reapply. After curing, an oily film called the oxygen inhibition layer will remain on the blockout surface. Wipe off the film to prevent it from transferring to the tray during vacuum forming. Place the desired thickness of tray material in the vacuum former and secure in place. Make sure that you align the faint lines in the tray material parallel with the front of the vacuum former for better retention of the material in the former while heating. Heat the material until it sags approximately one and a half inches. Activate the vacuum to adapt the softened plastic onto the model. Allow the tray material to cool before removing the model from the vacuum former. Removal while still warm will distort the material. Use ultra trim scalloping scissors to carefully scallop the tray just shy of the gingival margin by about one quarter to one half of a millimeter. Scallop the gingival embrasures to prevent covering the gingival papilla with the tray. The papilla may become sore and irritated if the tray covers them. Return the tray to the model. Check all tray extensions. Gently flame polish the edges one quadrant at a time. While still warm, with a water moistened gloved finger, apply pressure starting at the incisal occlusal edge and rolling towards the gingival margin and hold for three seconds. To prevent a rough surface, avoid using gloves that are textured or simply turn the glove inside out. If an area is short of a desired length, gently heat and push the tray material to the desired location. If this overthins the tray material, a new tray should be fabricated.